Hi everyone, welcome to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Heart rate accuracy on the trackers and smartwatches, that's just the norm, isn't it? How about heart rate from your earbuds? Today we'll be looking at the heart rate accuracy of a MassFit PowerBuds versus a MassFit GTS2 Mini. The baseline heart rate will be measured as per usual by Polar H10 ECG chest strap. If you're new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Last evening, I took the Amazfit PowerBuds versus Amazfit GTS2 Mini on an evening run. As you can see from the tracing in the Polar Beat app, I ran 4.25 kilometers in 35 minutes. The average heart rate was measured at 160 beats per minute and the max was 184 beats per minute. I started the run on all three devices, that is the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, the GTS2 Mini and the PowerBuds. I have overlaid the heart rate plots of the smartwatch and earbuds over the Polar H10 ECG HRM chart. Let's go through each one with a short recap of what the product tested offers and then its test results. By the end of the video, we'll rank the results to find the most accurate heart rate sensor of the tested devices. What's your bet? Will the earbuds be able to beat a smartwatch? First up is the GTS2 Mini. It's almost square with dimensions of 40.5 by 35.8 by 9 mm. It weighs almost nothing at just under 20 grams. There is a single button on the right side of the watch face. It has an aluminium alloy frame around the bezel highlighting the premium as opposed to the more simple BPU. The straps on the watch are replaceable 20 mm straps. The mini screen is now 1.55 inches and boasts 354 by 306 pixels with a 301 ppi density. The glass panel spans edge to edge and it's actually 2.5D glass here so it does have slight curvature around the edges and is scratch resistant. There are 70 sport profiles and all the more functional due to being 5 ATM waterproof and having inbuilt GPS as well. GTS2 Mini is a health addict's watch with the likes of Pi, the personal activity index. The watch can also monitor your sleep with three sleep stages, REM, deep and light sleep. You also get a sleep score and recommendations on how to improve your sleep quality. There is a stress monitor and an on-demand SpO2 monitor aka blood oxygen saturation level monitor. We can see that the watch measured an average heart rate of 155 beats per minute and a max of 181 beats per minute. The average heart rate is lower than on the Polar H10 ECG chest strap by 3.1%, while the max is off by just 1.6%. From the charts, we can see why the average is lower than on the chest strap. The trolls are well recorded, but in more than a few instances the trolls are lower and the peaks are not as pronounced as those registered by the chest strap. The understated highs are also evident with the max heart rate being 3 beats lower than the one on the chest strap. And now let's take a look at a MassFit Power Buds. This is a prime example of where tech advances meet everyday life hacks. Power Buds are a set of true wireless earbuds geared towards the fitness market. First and foremost, if you are on a budget, then you found the perfect option. The 8 hour battery life of the Buds plus another 16 via the charging case ensures they have enough battery for a total of 24 hours. The sporty features list include a set of optional ear hooks located on the underside of the charging case's lid. These magnetically click onto the earbuds and keep them on while you're sweating it off on the workouts. They can automatically enhance bass response on tracks while you're exercising. The app is also very responsive. What I particularly like is the equalizer with presets and a custom profile available. There are also gesture settings that even allow for through mode. That is, if you're wearing them and listening to music, just tap on them and the surrounding sound is amplified to your ear, allowing you to listen to both media playback and the surroundings. But the most important feature, well for today's test at least, is that when working out, the power buds monitor your heart rate. Is that cool or what? Let's check out the numbers. 
the buds measured an average heart rate of 160 beats per minute and a max of 179. The average heart rate is in line, in fact on the dot with the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. From the charts we can see almost an exact tracing of the heart rate recorded by the Power Buds and Polar H10. There is no sign of any lag. Only at one point, specifically the last sprint of the run, the buds didn't register the peak beats per minute and the max value is slightly understated. Let's discuss the results, rank them and potentially make some conclusions. Let's face it, the Power Buds is the clear winner here. The heart rate sensor has shown amazingly accurate readings that trace every peak and every throw. Especially noticeable is the fact that in the initial 33 minutes of the run there were almost no variances nor discrepancies in the heart rate readings. And by the way, that's 1980 beats that were recorded over the 33 minutes. Very accurate readings. The GTS2 Mini has also shown it's got a very capable optical heart rate sensor, yet not quite good enough to match the earbuds. Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you did find this heart rate test useful and insightful, then please click the red subscribe button below the video to ensure you don't miss any of our future content.